we survived the night at Civix Flats. It basically rained all night long. The wind was howling until about, I don't know, one or two o'clock this morning, then it started to abate. I'm actually starting to see some blue sky here. And the rain has stopped. So hopefully the storm is completely blown, blown through, which is nice. Yeah, we sheltered in place here last night. You can see all these massive trees down here. Really helped protect us from the heavy, heaviest part of the rain and uh, the wind. The wind was still bad here, but I think we got better off than the people that camped a little bit higher up on the campground there. See, Kath has done her duty this morning. She's prepared our two cups to put hot water in to make coffee. We got our instant coffee and our instant creamer in there. All right, so we're enjoying our coffee and our bobo bars in the tent, right? Kath? We are. It's chilly, still chilly out there. I mean, my hands, I had to put my gloves back on while we're making coffee because it's uh, it's that damp cold yeah you people that live in uh, north texas like we do you know what the damp cold is like <laughs> you can't put it's on enough fun. layers yeah. yeah one goes right through you so uh what's the general plan for well today, we're gonna hike up to um, mount laguna is the plan we're gonna once we get there kind of decide take a look and see how much snow there might be up there we may see if there's a room available at the lodge right. or at the little cabins. Um, if not, it's no big deal. We'll just, you right. know, continue on. But hopefully there's a, hopefully the cafe is open so we can get something hot to eat. Yeah, that would be great. And a few snacks from the little store. And I think we'll probably buy another gas canister because we've still got some in this one. But yeah, we don't want to run know, out. We're a day behind already. Yeah. So we just want to make sure that we've got enough to get us to where we're going. Because i got to have my hot coffee in the mornings. Yeah, so this will count as our morning brief. We're probably going to be not, not breaking mm -hmm. camp because we're going to have to dry the tent out a little bit oh, here before we get so going. Wet. So we're going to probably take about an hour to do that. So I'm figuring we're going to be out of here sometime between 10 and 11 this morning. Yeah. And, and it, the nice thing is it's wet outside, really wet. And the, the tent is wet on the outside, the right. rain fly. But inside, nothing. Toasty. I mean, we dry and really toasty. are dry. And so we are so blessed. This tent is a good little tent. It withheld a lot of wind last night. And rain. Yeah. All right. So uh, that's the game plan for today. And uh, you can follow along as we make our way up to a Laguna, Mountain Laguna. There you go. And I think, what is it, six miles? About seven miles It'll up there, seven or eight miles? About eight miles by the time we hike right. out of here. It's almost yeah. a mile to get out of here up, right. back up to the trail. Right, where it's Sibbit's flat, and it's uh, yeah, about a mile to get back up onto the PCT. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we'll be checking in later. Hope, hope you're enjoying our adventure. So here Kath and I are, are on 326, March 26th, getting ready to depart uh, Sibbets Flat. <laughs>
so. We were lucky enough to get the uh, last room at the lodge. I'm going to spend the night here at uh, the Laguna Mountain Lodge. Give you a quick view of our room. A nice little comfort stay here. Got our own microwave, TV, running water, indoor toilet, and calf. He's hard at work in here right now. Washing and releasing our dirty hiking clothes. That's the rinse water. No. I, I can believe it. I'm not putting much soap in No, here that's, that's, a, that's fine. Yeah, just a good soap. Just trying to get the mud off. I, I hear you. That's all we need. 